Hello, Scorpio. This is going to be your third party reading. I hope you're doing well. This is for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, make sure you're watching these third party readings for your own sun sign because they can get kind of uh, confusing if you are cross watching. All right, so if you need a personal reading, make sure you check out the description box below, and you can also check out my candles and oils if you're interested. All right, um, that is also linked in the description box. All right, so. Let's see what we have here for you and your person, Scorpio. We have grass isn't greener in reverse. Okay. Hmm. Grass isn't greener in reverse. The grass is greener under me. All right. Baby, I'm sorry. Still waters run deep. Hmm. Your person is hiding a lot. So they don't want to admit that they're wrong. This person doesn't want to admit that they chose the wrong person. Um, they don't want to admit that the grass is greener under you. They're not ready. Some of you dealing with a Leo. Yeah, for me to start singing Demi. And that's what I was going to say. Like, it's probably a Leo for some of you. But the grass is greener under me. The best color. <clears throat> Baby, I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. Baby, I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. Oh, cards are all over the place. This person is resisting you straight like that. They are not wanting to like accept that they miss you, that they made the wrong choice staying with this third party or going to this person because they couldn't do right with you, whatever the case may be. They are not ready to admit this. Some of you are dealing with an Aquarius. You have the world wow yeah they're your person's immature as hell whoever y'all are dealing with this is somebody who doesn't want to grow up okay so this is somebody who doesn't want to heal you represent way too much maturity and growth for this person and they you, they know your grass is so much greener like you look like you got it. you treat your grass you out there with like the best mower you take care of your grass okay i don't know what type of grass they over here with but they know you have like impeccable grass and this is just someone who does not want to admit that that ass and your grass is amazing Scorpio all right they just don't want to admit it the four of cups bored out their mind over here <laughs> bored out of their mind over here with all this deep emotion with all these regrets and this pride and I always be telling these dudes you know or anyone I deal with, really, is your pride better than me? Does your pride give you the same benefits that I give you? I bet it doesn't. Don't it, Your pride don't feel as good as me. Energetically, spiritually, sexually. You might as well just come on over to the dark side with the villains. All right, so we have the page of wands. So they are sexually intimate with this person. They do get... they. This is something to keep their attention for right now. And I can even feel, feel how I'm speaking about this situation. It's very, it's all like, oh, bless your heart. You know, like when in your, if you're in the South, if someone says bless your heart, those can be fighting words depending on what they saying, right? Because bless your heart can basically say, like, you such a fool, right? We know. If you, I shouldn't even have to explain that if you're from the South. I'm not even really from the South. I mean, I got, I'm from the South, but then I'm not. It's very weird. I got a little melting pot energy. So... I know when somebody says, bless your heart, it can depend on what you're trying to say, right? So this connection is like, oh, sweetie. Yes, I'm hearing, oh, I never meant to cry, but I got them where I want them now. Mm, it was never my intention to brag, stealing all the way from you now. And God, does it feel so good? I'm hearing um, Paramore in my head. <laughs> So this person is like, this is that energy. Like, uh, yeah, I waited eight long months just to set it free. I couldn't lie. He was the only one for me. Oh, my God. The lyrics, like, it's running through my head. But, yeah, so, like, it's like that type of situation. It's like, oh, child, you really think you got him or her. But it's really not even all that over here. Like, this person is definitely just 
passing the time. I hate to say that. I, and I had to take a deep breath. But look at the bottom of the deck. So y'all know I'm not even playing around. I want to just, just show y'all that I'm not even just making that up. That's just confirmation. But y'all can see it. We got the king, the world versus the page and the fourth. I'm not about to play with y'all. Y'all can see it in the, in the tarot. These are not balanced scales. Now we're balancing the scales here. The king of wands. So I see for a lot of you, this person may have a child with this other party here. Okay, for a lot of you, they have a child. This person is a mother or a father. Um, <clears throat> but if that's, you know, for some of you, this is purely about their child. They're staying because of their child. They're, this is someone who loves to see their children every day. They have to be around to make sure their children are eating right, make sure they're protected. They're going to do whatever they can to have the access to their children. Um, even if they are not their biological children, I want to point that out because the King of Wands is a great step parent as well. They really do take on children as if they're their own. The person could be a Capricorn for some of you. Scorpio, Leo, definitely. Leos don't play about their children. Good Leo fathers and mothers. I can't speak for the one Leo down the street that you know that ain't shit. There's ones out there and I just shake my head because I'm like, that's what you chose to do with the energy. Could have did anything with it, you know? But anyway, um, I feel like, again, this is not the weight that it holds here because of this page of wands and this four of cups. And he stop laughing about this. But it's like this person needs their ego stroked, among other things that they need stroked. You know that big wand right there that they got? So it's like that's kind of what this is here. Like, you know, they are in control here. They are the Don here. They are the king. They are the queen. They run this. Their children are there. They're, you know, they're the alpha there. Here, they, they, they're a fish out of water. They're all emotional. They're triggered. They're called to be more. Here, they ain't got to do much. They just got to show up. King of Wands. Okay? So, they don't, have to, they don't have to talk about their feelings. They don't have to be open. They don't have to deal with their childhood trauma. This, they can present themselves like this King of Wands. Because present King of Wands is an actor, right? They can also have access to many third parties as they want. They can party. They can hang out if they want. No one's going to question them here. So, some of you guys are dealing with a very, like, I want to say dominant man. A, a masculine energy. Scorpio. A Leo. Definitely. Especially if it's like a mid-August Leo. <clears throat> the five of pentacles so they are going to basically the outcome in this is they are going to stay in this connection for right now um for a lot of you their finances could be suffering and i feel like that's going to continue for them like if they're having financial problems staying in this relationship is going to keep affecting their money because it's not allowing them growth like they're not they need to walk through this world this is where they need to be career-wise as well. You guys know I always talk about the world being the 10th house. So your person's avoiding their life purpose when they avoid the connection with you. It's tied in. They, you know, And the grass is definitely greener over here. So you guys make sure that y'all doing y'all thing. I think you guys are with this king of cups here. Of course, this can be same-sex uh, relationship. And keep in mind, if you're cross-watching, then... Or this could be about the Scorpio. Some of y'all, this is about y'all ass. Anyway, um, what's the outcome between Scorpio and their person? I know we didn't talk a lot about y'all, but the problem, they didn't, we didn't really need to talk about that, you know, as much. So, I'm trying to get these cards to not fly out because they'd be flying all over the floor and I'd be tired of that shit. There's a lot of cards, spirit. Okay, somebody got an earth sign. Somebody done with a Taurus. Because I put this King of Pentacles back in the deck and he came back out. So the four of wands is your overall outcome. But I, uh, yeah, somebody is, who are y'all dealing with? Y'all dealing with Capricorn or Aries or Leo. Uh, y'all got a cocky ass Scorpio, Capricorn, Aries or Leo around you, Taurus, Virgo. Okay, like this person thinks that they are the shit. Like spirit is about to humble this person. But whenever this person gets the stick out their butt right there, um, Y'all will probably wind up in union with this person with this four wands here. This is going to be where they wind up. But there's a blockage. Your person is stuck. The seven of wands. What is the seven of wands here? Other than their ego. Their money is going to flourish when they leave this other relationship. I'm telling you. Two of cups. Yeah, they got to leave this false relationship. They think this is their soulmate or something. 
They could be with another Leo. I don't know. They got to leave the... They they are... This person doesn't want to be wrong. Yep. That's what it is. They don't want to admit they chose wrong. That's the, that's what I said at the very beginning. They don't want to admit that they, they thought... This person really thought they was with their soulmate. They probably got their names tatted or some shit. Who knows? They did something where they really thought this was their soulmate. Or like having a child with this person. This person didn't want to have a child with anybody they weren't going to be with or whatever. They, did, they, they don't want to admit that they chose wrong. Strength to a cup. They want to hold on to this. That's their karma. Hangman, literally. All right. Some of y'all know what a Pisces. Yeah, I ain't about to keep saying that. I know I said it at the beginning. So that's your reason, Scorpio. Someone just doesn't want to admit that they chose wrong, period. So if you guys want to get the last copy of this deck, there is a chance for you to win it by entering in my spring special. Please do not wait to book because it is selling out. It sold out twice already. Proof. I got proof. It sold out twice. I've had to replenish it two times. I don't know if I'm going to keep doing that because I don't want to stress myself. I don't want to over um, extend myself. But if you want a chance to win this, this is the last uh, version of this deck. I will be reprinting my deck in a different way, more personalized, more custom to me. But this one, this is the last uh, print of that. So you can win it if you want to check out. Check it out on my Wizio, okay? So your card is someone's possessive. Yeah, this person definitely gives me the energy of someone who's possessive. This is uh, the devil card. This also is like the emperor, which we already had. This is someone who doesn't like to budge. This is also someone who wants to have their cake and eat it too. And they're allowed to do that to an extent here because they can do whatever they want while they're here. But th what they want, the cake they want too is you and you are the one who's not. So they don't like that. This person doesn't like to be told no. Um, I'm hearing Trey songs um ain't that's what i'm supposed to do that song about cake cakes on the menu um so we have y'all in these scorpios so yeah you could be doing another scorpio or that's you and that's your card in my deck so it's you king of cups people be loving scorpios they are obsessed with scorpios i get so many readings about scorpios so this person is possessive over you scorpio just know that all right, you already know that this person's got some toxicity to them. I ain't gonna lie. Definitely he's giving Leo. But anyway, I love y'all, Scorpio. I'll talk to y'all in the next reading. Bye.